Day two of the new year and the morning run felt amazing. Don't be defeated in these days. Don't be afraid to speak out, to use your voice. The truth is coming like a tidal wave, like a freight train. And everybody knows that there will be an attempt to thwart it, to keep you afraid, to keep your focus on death and dying. But don't allow that anymore. Don't allow them to make you believe that fear and silence is the righteous choice. Don't allow them to submerge you or your voice any longer. Lean into life with brand new waves of wonder. Inspire others to freedom and reflect back the life you want to live. Not one where your freedoms and sovereignty are parceled out bit by bit like negotiating the terms of your daily release. But one where you are free to authentically give, to authentically expand, to reach new horizons and freer and freer lands, to expand your health and work within your health and know that you are empowered to do that, knowing that that is a multifaceted endeavor, part of which is where you, your focus goes, focus on life and new ways to live it. Make sure you breathe deeply every day and fill your lungs. Make sure to expand your mind and walk unafraid. Make sure you become a reflection of boldness and health and strength and love for to really be of service to really act in accordance with care to your fellow man. It's never been about taking a knee and allowing your freedoms to be surrendered to the man. It's always been about empowering your voice and your ability to allow the universe to expand within you to help others do the same so that we are life reflecting living with goodwill and grace and humor each and every day. The birds are chirping and the trees at dawn here in Brooklyn. No one told life you were, were supposed to be afraid to live it. Life did and get that memo. Turn off your devices, turn off the 24-7 fear campaign and see for yourself. Life is ready to embrace you back into the fold. Go forth, young grasshoppers. Go forth and be bold.